affection is an important ingredient to a healthy relationship. And when we're talking about affection, you have to understand it means different things to different people. Right. And that's why it's important to have a working operational definition that both of you are in understanding of, because isn't it true that you can actually use the same word, but each of you have a different meaning for that word? Sure. And you're talking, you're using, you're speaking in the same language, but you walk away with two different understandings because you haven't clarified some things. Right. So what affection may mean to you may be different than what affection means to another. So Danielle, when you think about affection, what what does affection mean to you? Like, how do you like to receive affection? I love gifts. Gifts, 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 gifts. And guess what? It doesn't have to be you got to go to the store and buy something. I like the gift of somebody actually thinking about me. And I had to figure that out because I was my father went and my father's crazy. You already know we've talked about that. But one thing that he did when I was very little is that every time he would leave the house, he would bring something back to me. So that that really went deep. And I looked at that was his way of showing me love. So it could be anything. He could have brought me a candy or something like that. So when Hassan would go and travel earlier in our mm -hmm. marriage, he would go somewhere and come back empty handed. I would look at him like, is there something wrong with you? Are you broken? Did you actually go somewhere and not bring me anything back? You didn't bring me a card. You didn't bring me anything that comes from the state that you were in or anything. And so I discovered about myself that it's actually the fact that you thought about me. So you took the time to think about me. That means you could have written a note, mm -hmm. or put a sticky on my mirror. You could have got a cup, a card, anything that is really meaningful to me. So the gift is actually somebody thinking, taking the time to pause and think about. Me. Yeah, that that makes. And it took I didn't get that at first because I'm like, why does it have to be about gifts? And yeah. why I got to come out my pocket? And what are you materialistic? Right. You're I'm like, you didn't even like, think of me on? while we were about. So but, you were out. You never even thought. Right. You know? So I didn't know that she associated a gift with, oh, you were you're, you're going out of your way to do something nice for me. I'm thinking like, you know what I got? I'm kind of low right now. And the way my checking and my savings are kind of set up, you know, I just wasn't in a position. But I realized it wasn't about how much I spent. It wasn't about name brands. It was about what it represented. Now, th that that's interesting. And a lot of people need to understand that that may be your spouse's gift. Now, I mean, love language. Now, here's the deal. When you form this relationship, is not a gift given. It's called the gift of a ring. That gift represents and symbolizes something. So you're initiating your marriage with a gift. So why would you stop once you say Well, and, and, then, and then there's the other side of it because there's, I know so many women in particular, I'm speaking for the women right now, that gifts are just not their thing. They could care less about a gift. Gifts have no meaning whatsoever. Give me your time. Give me your words. How about that? Give me your affection. So it's really a p important mm -hmm. for us to understand. I mean, that doesn't mean that don't ever give me a gift for some of these people, right? That doesn't mean I do not want you to give me a gift, but it just means that gifts don't hold that level of weight. I'm more concerned about the affection that you give me. I'm more, can I get a compliment today? Can you let me know that you see me, right? So those are the things that stand yeah. out for other people. And that's why we have to have that conversation to find out what's important to them. So I want to ask you, Hassan, what is how do you perceive love? That's a good question because you know gifts. That's really not my thing. Matter of fact, when it comes to birthdays it's and so hard Christmas, to give him a, oh my god, I'm so annoying. I don't like so I, annoying. It's just I'm good. It's so annoying. Like he says, I don't know. I don't know. We get him books. And we try to force him to want stuff. Well, because you don't for us. me, a book is a gift that keeps giving because I guess it depends upon how you're wired, what your motivations are, what your passions are. I have a thirst for learning, for knowledge. So a book is an amazing gift for me. Like think about the Muhammad Ali book I just bought. Like it, I mean, that was a huge, huge thing for me because that's what I value. Anyway, in terms of affection for me, it's touch. I, I, I love touch. Yes, Lord. And, and you have to understand, for those of you who love touch, we're not talking about sex. That's not, not a, necessarily. That's, that's not what we're talking. We're talking about non-sexual touch in the context of affection. Sexuality right. is something different. We're talking about affection here, right? Yeah. So we're not talking about touch that stimulates. We're not talking about touch that has a goal attached. We're just talking about touch. You know, rubbing, yeah. touching, holding, squeezing, pleasing. He's so teasing. happy right now. Yeah, I, I'm just saying that's just what <laughs> that's what speaks to me. 
And, and so when I go lacking of that, I'm like, what's going on up in here? So that's when I said some people are starving for affection because they need it. <laughs> and, and here's the reality. Like my love language doesn't have to be hers. And it's important for you to understand, like you have to learn to become bilingual in your relationship. Yeah. Right. Because if my only objective is meeting her need and her only objective is meeting my need in the area of affection, don't we both win? And so a question came. I don't know. I think it's Xanadu. Yes. But what? But but how do you handle it when you when they don't know what their love language is? Well, well, it's really simple. Just go take the test. There are many people who've never read the book, The Five Love Languages, but they've heard of it. But whether you've read the book or not, just thinking about those five words of affirmation, quality time, physical touch, acts of service, giving of gifts, you can get some type of idea about what it is that your spouse or you yourself uh have a liking for. But if you don't know, take the test. It takes 10, 15 minutes. And the, the based upon how you answer the questions, th then those love languages will come out. And then you want to test it. Mm -hmm. You know, test each love language for a week and see how your partner responds to that particular language. Mm -hmm. Then you'll know. So that's the empirical data that you need to do that will help out. Yeah.